Tiger. I am the horn. In this episode, I am going to give you a brief explanation on why the scientists have changed the definition of the kilogram. And what is this new definition? What's the difference from the old definition? In this video, I am not going to deal with the math, but I am just going to give you a logical explanation of why they did this. So here goes. The reason why scientists have redefined the kg is because we don't want to be dependent on physical objects that can corrode or change over time. For example, the meter. How is the meter defined? You may think that it's there in the national library of each country so that they have a rod of this length and something like that but some factors like heat can change the length of the rod and lead to not precise measurements so yes each country does have a rod of one meter length which is kept in a vacuum at stable heat but there's another way of measuring the meter which is now the constant the way of measuring the meter all across the world for precise, measure, precise measurements is to use a constant. Now what's a constant? Something that remains the same forever. Now let me think of a constant. Say the speed of light. You know the speed of light is called C in the famous equation E is equal to mc square. C is speed of light. Okay. So speed of light is C and C is constant throughout the universe. There is nothing that can go faster than C, but C changes speed in different mediums. Say in air, C is slower. The C, the speed of light in air is less than C. The speed of light in water is less than C, but nothing can go faster than C. So we take a constant, say C, and we multiply it by how much ever time. So say the speed of light the distance speed of light covers in one nanosecond. That may be one meter. So we define a meter as the distance speed of the distance C takes to cover in one second. So that's it. In one nanosecond. So we define the meter in a constant. So now scientists thought that if we can define the meter like that, why can't we define why can't we define other physical quantities? Say the kilogram. Before this, the kilogram depended on an iridium alloy present somewhere in Europe. And it, it's like a cylinder which weighs one, kil, one kg exactly. And we make copies of that and we spread them across the world. That is the definition of the kilogram. But, of course, things will change. Say heat, corrosion, something will happen. It's not very dependable. So, scientists thought of putting a constant, making a constant throughout the world of which we can define the kg. Don't worry, nothing has changed, your weight is still the same as well as other stuff. So, there is no need to panic. The kilogram is still the same, but in precise measurements, only that will change small, very tiny variation. So the way they defined it is they made a constant called the Planck's constant, which was not definite until the scientists found accurate measurements and got the precise value of Planck's constant. Then they multiplied the variable depending on the object and then they got how to precisely measure the one the kilogram. So now the kilogram is dead and the new kilogram is born. So I hope you understand the concept of why they changed the kilogram and I hope you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching.